In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, today we offer this Mass for the repose of the soul of Father Alfred Anthony Lana, a priest of the Diocese of Albany for 71 years. So let us gather together our thoughts that our hearts may be prepared to receive the body of Christ. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us gather all of our prayers together in the Lord. Grant we pray, O Lord, that the soul of Alfred Lamana, your servant and priest, whom you honored with sacred office while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Benedict. A reading from the book of Proverbs. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands, turn your ear to wisdom, incline your heart to understand. Yes, if you call to it blood, and to understanding, raise your voice. If you see her like silver, and like hidden treasures, search her soul. If you will understand the fear of the Lord, and the knowledge of God, you will find. For the Lord gives wisdom, for his mouth gave knowledge and understanding. He has counsel and store for the upright. The shield of those who walk honestly, guarding the paths of justice, protecting the way of his pious ones. Then you will understand ridiculous justice, honesty, every good man. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord all the time. I will bless the Lord all the time. His praise will be ever in my mouth. Soul glory in the Lord, the lowly will appear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I saw the Lord, he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him, and you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, from all his distress he saved it. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encampeth around those who fear him, and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Hear the Lord, you his holy ones, for not is lacking. To those who fear him. The grave grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will offer no good thing. For the last of all, at all times. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in 
Spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading of the Gospel according to Matthew. Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you will have followed me in a new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory. Will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel? And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. Gospel of the Lord, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel, we are reminded that Jesus calls us not to be afraid. Jesus encourages us, encourages every one of us not to be afraid, reminding all of us of the love of God who knows us and who loves us. On Friday, yesterday, July 10th, Father Alfred Anthony. Lamont was called home by the Lord to his eternal rest in the heavenly kingdom. In today's Mass, praise for his soul that the Lord will look kindly upon him, his actions, his words, his deeds, and especially his ministry throughout the Diocese of Albany for over seven decades. During his life, Father Lamont knew courage, knew that he had to leave everything behind to follow the Lord. He acknowledged God's love, he acknowledged God's teachings, and he shared the good news which he found in Christ with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we are reminded that in the times of chaos and fear, that the Lord never abandons any of us. If anything, we hear from Scripture that when we call out to the Lord, He hears us. He hears our cry. In Father's last days, He prayed. He prayed with the priests. He prayed with laity. He prayed with His friends. His friends and family prayed for Him. Father never felt alone. And in His 98 years, he always knew that Jesus Christ was at his side. Hey, we remember his soul, and we pray for his soul, that the Lord will kindly receive his soul in the mercy which he extends to all of us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Turning without fear to our Heavenly Father, who knows even the number of hairs on our heads, we offer Him our prayers and petitions. We pray for Holy Mother Church, may God protect her from all sin, from all evil and wickedness, and purify her in holiness. We pray to the Lord. For all nations and peoples of the world, especially for the United States of America, the Holy Spirit bring an end to oppression and instill peace among us. We pray to the Lord. For all those afflicted by fear or threatened by violence, may God give them comfort and hope in the promise of His love. We pray to the Lord. And all of us gathered here to celebrate this Mass through the intercession of St. Benedict, may God give us courage to abide in this truth. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially for the repulse of the soul of 
Father, help us to plant cities on the mind. May God call them each to join it in the everlasting kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Our family, and friends, our Father, and our Anna, for all those who took care of him, for those who showed him compassion, mercy, and love, for all those who had a special relationship with him, and through the mercy of God, May they find peace and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, hear our needs and cares, and answer them according to your most generous will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless our new Lord God of all creation, with your goodness we have received this bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. Bless our new Lord God of all creation, with your goodness. As one and God for you, through the divine work of human hands, will we come for us our spiritual dream. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, Alfred, your servant and priest, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here on earth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, he, holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness, may holy there for these gifts we pray. I say, you down your spirit, the heart of the beautiful, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. The similar way was that was ended to the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all you and drink from it. For this is a challenge of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for the of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Christ, as our Pope, we remember our bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alfred and Anthony Lamana, whom you have called from this world to yourself. 
Grant that Father of mine, for which you might be with your son in the death of all years. May he also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome to the light of the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. For the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, and spouse. For the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may be the co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Savior's command is for by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We may be blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The key to the power and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church. We graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you all, boys. I am a God. You take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. I am a God. You take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. I am a God. You take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Behold, I am a God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless our souls all to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be with you. Let's pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I did not at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never forget me to be separated from you. The intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace within our families, the protection of the saint in the world, in our safety and in our nation. St. Michael the Archangel, the Baptist and be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke we humbly pray. And do thou bring to the heavenly host by the power of God, cast into hell safely, and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking to win a circle. They put in peace. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we implore your kindness, O God, for Alfred Anthony Lamana, your servant and priest, 
and as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by your truth and reality as a field in heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when that's the end, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We have a call of all the Lama's family, his sister in law, his nieces and nephews, and cousins. Thank you for all your prayers throughout the years, for all of you who showed you kindness and love over the past seven decades. If you would like to make a memorial contribution in honor of Father Lamont to our late Queen of Peace Chapel here at St. Mary's, please go on to our website and our information will be on there. Father Lamont, so 